this week at Twisted Isles Motorcycle Museum with Jerry Ottaway and Brad and Julie from the Wichita area. Thank you for coming to Twisted Isles. Jerry, what do we have today? We've got a 1953 Hoffman, German Hoffman, and Hoffman was in business for about six years. Uh, they build over 60,000 Vespa scooters under the license of Vespa, and uh, they were going so good that they thought they didn't need Vespa anymore, so they uh, changed the name, and the company lasted about a week after that, and the whole company went down. But uh, when I was uh, 14 years old, my cousin and I decided we wanted to be motorcycle dealers, and we kept hearing us reading about the Hoffman Company wanting dealers in the United States. So uh, we had some stationery printed up and all that, and asked them what it took to become a dealer, and they said, well, you need to uh, buy two motorcycles, which at that time they were little 175cc two-strokes, and they were about 200 apiece wholesale. Uh, said we needed a showroom and a maintenance uh, department and all that, and we assured them we had that, all that. And first year we sold, first summer we sold 27 of them, and uh, then we were also racing quite a bit locally and uh, they had a, we heard they had a racing motor that they had designed and it's a 250cc two-stroke and this is a good picture of it here. We ordered two of those and put them in the 175cc frames and uh, then we decided we was going to Catalina Island, the Catalina Grand Prix in 56. We signed up for that, and uh, the uh, we went out there, and uh, this machine was in second place for a short time. Uh, the guy that won the race was uh, John McLaughlin, and he was the uh, Velocet factory rider from England. Okay. So uh, anyway, uh, we had... Uh, on the way home, I asked, I told my cousin, I said, I'm 19 now and I've never been hurt racing. And so I said, I think it's time to quit. And I did. I didn't race another race after that. So this is the one you raced? This is the one we wound up, yeah, racing. Okay. Yeah, so this is yeah. Was this the yeah. one you wrecked? The way what? You said you had an accident in one of these. Was this one of them? Uh, well, in the race, uh, my front forks broke off okay. up in the mountains and it went over a cliff and landed in some tall trees. And uh, I don't know how I got off of it so easy. I, I just kind of stepped off to the, and then it went over the other side. After the race, they had big cranes up in the mountains pulling motorcycles out of the trees. And okay. <laughs> I wasn't the only one that <laughs> wound up in the trees. Okay. But uh, anyway, uh, that's uh, kind of the Hoffman story. It, uh, okay. But, uh, now, is it 175 because it was a 175, or what was your number plate for? Uh, I don't know why how we went to that, but yeah, they were a 175cc single, two-stroke. And uh, the next summer, the second year, we sold about eight, and then that's when they went out of business. Uh, oh, they business couldn't get any more, yeah. But, uh, well, Jerry, thank you. Guys, thank you. I hope, I know you've been back to Quest Plaza before, and thank you for coming and telling your friends about us. Jerry, we'll see you next week. Hope so, yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Yeah. All right. Appreciate it.